Working Across Cultures 1, Track 35. In the second part of my talk, I'll look at saying no in different countries. Japanese people hate saying no. They don't even like using negative endings to verbs, and they don't like any confrontation. So it's important to look at their non-verbal communication. They believe in harmony. They think that turning down someone's request causes embarrassment and loss of face to the other person. Many negotiators have come away from meetings in Japan thinking they have got agreement when in fact they haven't. Indonesians can also communicate indirectly. They don't like to cause anyone embarrassment by giving a negative answer. So the listener has to work out what they really mean. In fact, Bahasa Indonesian has 12 ways of saying no and also other ways of saying yes, when the real meaning is no. The Chinese will often avoid saying no. They have an expression which means, we'll do some research and discuss it later, which is a polite way of saying no. Silence in China can also imply that there are problems. Silence in the Arab world is quite common, however, and does not necessarily mean no. The Arab world does not find silence difficult. However, saying no in the wrong situations can have bad consequences. An American business friend of mine once refused a cup of coffee from a Saudi businessman at the start of a meeting. In America, that wouldn't have been a problem, but this was seen as rather rude by the Saudi host, and the meeting was unsuccessful. My friend should have accepted the coffee and just had a small cup. I'll now move on to...